everyone, and welcome to the Stock Swish Show Play of the Day and basically the play of the week here. So really, really, really beautiful golden gut today and just knew it would work. And it was tough in the morning because it, it really didn't really get going until it broke. So let's look at it. Boy, you had to have conviction on this one, didn't you? I played this perfectly today. I played it perfectly. Couldn't, couldn't have played it any better. So, shorted here, stop, got in it, did the ad, rolled on down, didn't take any out. Told everybody I wasn't taking anybody out. Told everybody in the room that I wasn't taking any out, but if you wanted to take some out, you could. Why? Because I had 100% conviction that this stock would go and work and go to a bigger number, and that it did. It's actually still going. This rallied back, rallied back through my price, and I held it. Held the whole thing. Because when you take a trade, you have to have conviction and also know that you are okay with risking the money that you're risking in the trade. You take the risk to make money. You cannot win if you don't take risks. You have to know what you're doing to take the risk, but you can't make money unless you take risk. And you have to understand what you're doing. And boy, do I ever. I had the conviction. After this, it rolled all the way over. Beautiful, perfect. Literally a perfect exit on the morning short. Beautiful trade. I knew it wasn't over. Knew it wasn't over. Closed out the room and I sat here and saying to myself, oh gosh, should I retake this? Should I retake it? Should I retake it? Should I do it? I did it again. I did it again because I felt it was going to break again and it did. And now I'm all out of this last trade here. But actually you could still be in it. I mean, you could still be in this. So then I did two trades in this, but you could still be in it. Why? Because the target in this is actually 1830. I don't see any reason it doesn't get there. I'd be shocked if it doesn't. And if it doesn't, this is a play or an overnight hold or a play for next week. This is going to get here. This is There's nothing stopping this from getting here today. There's probably another dollar in this, but I'm completely out of this now. I actually did the first trade, the ad. I did a late trade then just to get it down quick into the next uh, whole number. And this is it. I got I to gotta just, you know, stop today here now. It's 12 o'clock and I have things to do. But this, this was an amazing, amazing, amazing trade. Uh, just a beautiful trade. It's at 30. Look at that. Woo. So the difficult thing about this today was that you had to have conviction to hold through it because it backed up into the price and it did so late. And you could have made money, got all out of the first little trade in there, which was fine, which would have been profitable. There really was so many gaps to look at today. I did a good job focusing on this because I think I read six things today. I did. And some of them didn't work out. Some of them didn't rate well. And the market was iffy. So uh, I stayed with the right thing, did the right thing, had the conviction, and it all worked out. And, uh, you know, this is one of these things where conviction helps you trade. I do believe that wholeheartedly because otherwise people take trades, and if they're up a little bit, they take it out. If they're down a little bit, they take it out. They never get to get the big moves and things. And the big move in this was the breakdown, was the break on through, was the crash through the low and then beyond. And this isn't done. You could watch this and short it again into a rally back up here this afternoon. It's 12 o'clock. It needs to push back up and rally now. But a setup between 1, 115, 145, 2 o'clock, 215 is valid on this to get down to 1830, $18. Dream target is 16 bucks today. I don't, I don't think this goes to $16 today unless the market falls off the planet. But it could. I mean, anything's possible. Look at the bar over here. It's just $3. Right now, the bar actually today, the extension is only a dollar something. So this is one of these trades where... Uh, I did hold it and I held the whole thing and boy, it was gutsy to do that. It was gutsy to do that. This was not an earnings gap, okay? And I've talked about this before. I trade gaps for many reasons. There's many reasons why stocks gap. Uh, this was not an earnings gap, but it was a good gap. It met the requirements of my system. That's why you have a system. That's why I have a system. And if you don't have a system, you need a system. It tells you what to look for. It told me to look for this. It told me it was good. The gap rated over 20 points and I liked it. And no, it wasn't on earnings, but sometimes things gaps for many, many reasons. I don't even remember the reason for this gap, but it was a good gap and it worked. And this was a huge trade. And this is probably here my week. This is my week here. This is a, I'm so happy with today. It's just couldn't be happier. Just really fantastic way to start the first month of April. And it's not earnings season right now, about another week or so to go. And so to get a great play like this and have this kind of money on the day and this kind of profit on the day to start out this first week in April, I'm just thrilled to pieces. When you see opportunity in the market, you grab it, you grab it. And that's what I did with this today. I grabbed this thing. I nailed it. I did the ad. I held it. I did the whole thing. I got it. Okay. 
You've got to take opportunity and hit it hard when you see it. And when you don't have any opportunity, you just lay low. You lay low, you lay low, you don't do anything, you just lay low. You have to know how to do that. Find opportunity, spot it, and play it. Okay? And then lay low when there isn't any. The thing is that most people do not understand what opportunity looks like, like this. Second of all, some people think that they have to push things some days when there is actually no opportunity and then they push it too hard because they're desperate for a trade or to make any kind of money. I'm perfectly fine some days not doing anything. There's nothing I can do. I can't make these stocks go higher or lower if I wanted to, okay? So you have to recognize for some days you're just going to take it easy. It's not that many days in a month. It might be two or three, but it's still, you have to know when that day is, okay? Otherwise, you hurt yourself in a day when there's nothing to do. And uh, today there was lots of stuff to do, actually. There was lots of stuff to do here, but this was it. This is the play of the day. This is the play of the week. And uh, this is a, was a really, really beautiful play by me. So stocks will show play of the day. Congratulations to everyone in the live trading room that did this with me today. Everyone has a fantastic day. Some people had the biggest days they've had so far here, which is great. Terrific for them. Uh, had a lot of nice comments in the room today about comma days. So have a wonderful afternoon, everyone. If you're interested in signing up for the Golden Gap class this weekend, it's April 5th and 6th with a bonus day on April 8th. This is, uh, I did this once a year. So this is it. If you want to do the bonus review today, I'm doing it once a year. I did it once a year last year. I'm doing it once a year again this year. You get a third day for no extra charge where I just do gap ratings to help you. And we're, we're going to go over this. We're actually going to go over this one. We're going to go over this gap on Tuesday. I just decided. There we go. <laughs> So uh, have a great day, everybody. If you want to sign up for the class, email me at melissa at thestockswish.com. You have until 5 o'clock Eastern time tomorrow and Friday to sign up for the class. If you want to learn how to trade for second quarter earnings season into April, May, and June, then you got to do the class this weekend. Have a great day, everybody. Have a fantastic weekend. Email me if you want to sign up for the course, melissa at thestockswish.com. Go, go, go. Barnes and Nobles. Woo! Go to 1820 for those of you that are still in it or shorted on a rally back up. Have a great day, everybody.